Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can access the homebrew launcher on your 3DS system using a new exploit called Browser Hacks. So Browser Hacks has existed before in various different forms across many different consoles, but this is a new version that was just released a few days ago, and it works all the way up to the latest firmware on the 3DS. The creator of this has released two versions of it, one of them which works on the old 3DS, and one of them which works on the new 3DS. Fundamentally, these exploits are different at their core, so that's why there's two GitHub pages for these, even though it's going to be the same process to use both of them. So as always, I'm going to have both of these linked in the video description, and you're just going to go to the description and download the one that corresponds to the console that you have. For example, if you have an old 3DS, then go to the old Browser Hacks GitHub page. If you have a new 3DS, then go to the new Browser Hacks GitHub page. The easiest way to tell which console you have is that the new 3DS has the second C stick on the right side of the console. I'm also going to have a picture on screen now so you can easily tell which one you have. So whichever one you're using, all you're going to do is just go over to the releases tab. I'm actually probably just going to have it linked straight to the releases tab in the video description so you're not going to need to worry about that. But you're just going to download the latest release of whichever one that you chose. I'm going to be demonstrating this on an old 3DS, so I'm going to be using the old Browser Hacks GitHub release. But once again, if you were on a new 3DS, then you would use the new Browser Hacks release. But regardless of which one of these you use, you're also going to need to download the Homebrew Launcher boot.3dsx file. So I'm also going to have just a direct link to this, so you're going to be able to download it easily just like that. And once you've got both of these downloaded, then you've already got all the files that you need downloaded. So right now I'm back in my file explorer manager. You can do this on a Mac or a Chromebook or anything. It doesn't really matter. All you're going to need to do is go into the release zip file and then you're going to go in it as many times as it's necessary. And then you're going to go into your region of choice. For me, I am in the USA, so I'm going to go inside of the USA folder. But if you were in Europe or Japan, you would go inside of those folders. But yeah, inside of here, you're going to find two files, arm11code.bin and browserhackshblauncherropbinpayload.bin. So you're just going to select both of these files, whichever way you normally would, and you're going to drag these straight onto the root of your 3DS's SD card. So I've got my 3DS's SD card inserted right here. As you can see, I've got my Nintendo 3DS folder and my DCIM folder. So this is the SD card that I just pulled out from the side of my console. So I'm just going to drag both of these files and I'm going to drag them straight to the root of my SD card just like this. Since I already have them, it's going to ask me to replace them, but you probably will not get that message. Next, you're going to do the same thing with the boot.3dsx file that we downloaded alongside the release zip file. So once again, I'm just going to drag this onto it just like that. And again, I already have it since I have done this before, so I'm just going to replace it. And now if we go look at all the files, we should see all of them in here. So I see ARM11 code, boot.3dsx and browser hacks hp launcher rop bin payload bin so once you've got these three files and you are all set up if you want to download additional homebrew then you can download that and put it inside the 3ds folder i've already got a few things to get me started so this is going to be good enough for demonstration purposes on this video so i'm going to eject my 3ds's sd card and i'll put it back into my 3ds and i'll meet you on there next all right so i'm back on my 3ds and as you can see my 3ds is updated to the latest firmware i'm on 11.13.0-45u which is the latest firmware at the time of making this video if you're not already on that then you might want to update to this because this is going to be the most supported version so once you've made sure that you're on the right firmware and you're all updated, then you can go back to your system menu. Now once you're back on the home menu, we're going to get the browser set up so that we can run this exploit correctly. So I'm going to go to my internet browser right now, and what we're going to do after we get in here is we're just going to delete all of our settings. So this is going to be done from the bottom screen, so I'm going to go over to my settings over here, and inside of here we're going to scroll down and click delete cookies, and make sure to delete all of them, and we're also going to clear history as well. Doing this is going to give the exploit a higher success rate. Once you've got that, you can click OK, and from here we're going to return back to the home menu. Now once you're back on the home menu, you can hold down the L button and the R button to activate the camera on the 3DS. Once your camera is activated, then you can press the QR code down here, and this is going to set you up for QR code scanning. So on screen right now in the video, I'm going to have a QR code and you're just going to want to scan that and it's going to bring you to the website. So as you can see, it found the URL and from here we're going to click OK and then we're going to click OK to launch the internet browser. 
So the web page is going to load and you're going to see a button that says proceed to hacks. Generally to make sure everything is fully loaded, I like to sit on this web page for a couple of seconds just to make sure the web page is loaded and that way it'll give the exploit a higher success rate. Once you've been sitting on the page for a couple seconds, click proceed to hacks and this is going to start launching the exploit. You might see the screen flash various colors like mine is doing right now. I'm just going to get this into a better view and eventually it's going to load us into the homebrew launcher. So there you have it. We are now inside of the homebrew launcher on the 3DS. Again, this works completely normally just as you would expect and this works on the latest firmware like I just demonstrated now. Let's test out PR Boom. I'm not sure how old of a game this is. So I'm running Doom right now on the homebrew launcher. I'm not sure how old of a build this is because I probably had this on my system for quite a while now. But as you can see, it still seems to be running normally, completely fine. So yeah, the game still works as expected. Again, like I mentioned, I'm not sure how old of a build this is. It has probably been improved since then. But yeah, this is just a demonstration of what you can do with Homebrew on the 3DS. You can also use this to install Luma 3DS. Eventually, the 3DS hacks guide is going to be updated to support this. But at the time of making this video, they have not updated the guide yet. But they are in progress of adding this exploit to the guide. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if this video helped you. Comment if you have any questions or if you want to help anyone else out. And subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you next time.